Well, Easter's coming up. And you know what that means. Easter eggs and bunny rabbits and all that great stuff. So what do you make for an Easter special? Ham? Colored eggs? Chocolate? No. We're going to make Haas and Pfeffer. Haas and Pfeffer coming right up. Yes, sir. Haas and Pfeffer? What's Haas and Pfeffer? What's Haas and Pfeffer? Well, we're going to be cooking the Easter Bunny. Here comes Peter Cottontail. God forbid we overdo it. I don't know. I never damn. I never. What the? That shit on me. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your sadistic host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. For our Easter special, yes, Peter Cottontail is going to be the spécialité de la maison. Let me introduce myself as one of the woodland creatures residing in the King's Forest. But before we start cooking, Haas and Pfeffer, as every good chef knows, we need a drink. I tried the tarragon juleps and they sucked. It just tastes like whiskey with weeds in it. It's gross. We're going to just go back to an old favorite, French 75s. Lemon juice, teaspoon of sugar, or a sugar cube, gin, some very difficult to open champagne. Where's the little sturdy thingy? Come on. Fuck. Already? <coughs> oh, as my mother would say, my favorite sound. Some ice. What an ice hole. Tart. Tart. Like your mama. Now, as everybody knows that ever watched Bugs Bunny 40 years ago, what Haas and Pfeffer is, it's basically rabbit stew. Rabbit? Oh, Mr. Rabbit! Wait! Wait, Mr. Bunny Rabbit! We actually know it's the Easter Bunny. Yay. Wholesale slaughter of innocent woodland creatures. So let's get cooking, shall we? We're going to start off with some bacon. Everything is freaking better with bacon. Get you a nice Dutch oven. This is not a nice Dutch oven. This is a cheap ass one. Get you your bacon. Oh. We're gonna get our innocent woodland creature. Now that our bacon is totally burning, fuck. Bacon. Jeez, it's all smoky in here. That can be your drinking game. Every time I say fuck, you have to take a drink. Trust me, you'll be drunker than I am. Why? Because the recipe says so. We don't want to piss off the gods of recipe. Where were we? Oh yeah, old Bugs Bunny. Let's do something with him. Let's sprinkle a little bit of salt on uh, little Peter Cottontail here. And dust him with some flour. I'm referring to my meal as a him. That's extra sadistic. French for rabbit is lapin. My Aunt Armenia had a dog named Lapat. I think it was always had some species identity psychological issues. So we have our bacon. It is partially, partially black and partially not cooked. That's not exactly what I was going for. Two minutes into this damn video and it's already big old fail. So let's start over. Alright, no, unlike most Americans, I do not like my bacon cooked to oblivion. I like it to still seem like it's got meat there. Peter Cottontail. Let's brown a little old Peter. We're gonna brown a little Peter Cottontail in the uh, baking grease. Ow! Fuck! I might wanna wear a mask for the flying bits of hot shit. So if you give your kids like you know, a little a bunny for Easter as a pet. And this is a great way to do something with the rabbit later on. Rabbits chew your stuff, so you chew their stuff. Alright, let's get some oniony type stuff. This is green onions. You can use shallots, you can use regular onions. I don't care. 
Alright, let's heat that up a little bit. Onion. Let's get a bunch of garlic. And saute that shit up. Turn the heat down because apparently it's too fucking hot already. Never cook with any wine. You wouldn't drink yourself. Red wine. And of course, here on Cooking Under the Influence, we always have to forget something at the last minute. And I didn't have any chicken broth or bouillon. So I'm going to make some beef broth. Bouillon. Bouillon. Put that in there too. Like, that was like a cup of beef bouillon. Or chicken bouillon. I don't freaking care what you do. I've made rice a bajillion times on this show. Jambalaya. Gumbo. The other rice episode. A couple of bay leaves. Which is the leaf of the laurel tree. Have you ever heard the term resting on your laurels? Yeah, try sitting on that. Time. Not the stems. Whoops. Some rosemary leaves and throw those suckers in there. This is rabbit's game? Is that game? I don't know. This rabbit says it was farm raised, so it's I guess not game. Innocent woodland creatures. You're born, you grow up, up oh, you're fucking dead. Not really too much of a game. Put our stuff, our rabbit, in our sauce, in our mixture. Now, according to the recipe I read, all you really wanted with the bacon was the grease. But guess what's not getting thrown away? So I'm putting some damn bacon up in that bitch. Turn the heat way down. Cover it. Now we're going to let it sit for like an hour and a half. It's time for a refill. Oh, I forgot the, the pfeffer. Pfeffer means pepper in fucked up German language. So, we're going to add some fresh ground peppercorns. I think pepper means pepper. It sounds like pepper. Be a pepper, be hoss and pepper. The vegetable you don't have to worry about, parsley. If you put it in there, you'll know it's there. If you don't put it in there, you'll never fucking miss it. That's a recap for my old, why is parsley the vegetable you don't have to worry about? Part. I think that was, what episode was that, lasagna? God, that was forever ago. That's a shame I got distracted by parsley while pouring myself another drink. Wow, I told you this shit was kicking my ass. Estray. Okay. Mesopotamian goddess of fertility. It's been like um, a while. Represented by eggs, symbol of fertility. Bunny rabbits, symbol of fertility. I've had a few of these things. When did they celebrate the great estray? Springtime. Last few minutes of simmeriness. We're gonna we're gonna cook some fucking I don't know. We're gonna cook some fucking potatoes. Oh, and I'm getting Twitter messages. Whatever. Look it up. I don't know what you're saying. Estray is now Easter. We're gonna celebrate Jesus. Seems to me to be a whole lot like beef bourguignon, but with bunnies. Just saying. Don't kill the messenger. It smells freaking awesome. So how do we make the gravy? Easy. The gravy is. Fucking easy. We'll get some flour. Oh, here's some now. What do you fucking know? Mix your flour with a bunch of water. Okay, the key is don't make so much flour that you have freaking uh, dough. We don't eat dough like a big loaf of bread in our damn gravy. We've had, oh fuck, I lost my flip flop. A bunch of French 75s. God bless the French and the 75 people. Pay attention to where you direct your knife. Cheers. Hiya! Well, that didn't help at all. Try not to stab your head. I don't, I don't know how long it's been boiling these damn potatoes. I fell asleep. So we got potatoes. 
We got some rabbit. This looks like a chicken breast. We got our gravy. It's been simmering for a while. Looks good. Oh, it tastes good. Awesome pepper. Okay. Happy Easter! <sighs> Fucking hot. By the way, email Josh. Because he's a bastard. He doesn't want to be guest chef on CUI. Here's his email address. Adios. And bon appetit.